Hi, my name's Matt Ray. I'm the inventor of the ultimate game changer for when you want to go in light and compact and come out loaded to the max. Now we've had the privilege here of uh, harvesting a beautiful deer. We have used the ultimate game changer, which we'll talk about later on, um, to field dress the deer. Uh, it provided us a place for us to keep our tools, um, our uh, knives and glasses, anything else, hats, whatever we needed to keep uh, track of right here on this nice tarp, which can eventually be folded up into a backpack. It can also be a hammock, a shelter, uh, just about anything you need it to be. Uh, anyway, we've utilized it here uh, for this purpose. You can see the once we got the deer quartered, we had a nice clean place out of the grass, the leaves and uh, stuff to, to put our quarters so that as we get ready to pack it out, uh, we're keeping the game nice and clean. So uh, while we're folding the ultimate game changer from its uh, staging station into a backpack, uh, we just had the advantage of this nice tree here that we could hang the quarters in while we're folding it up. If you don't have something, uh, some place to hang the quarters, uh, you can find a clean place in the grass, or we oftentimes will, will carry a plastic bag or two if it's just to keep the quarters clean. But since we have this nice tree here, um, we're just gonna put everything here in a tree while we get the ultimate game changer ready to go. All right, so this uh, tarp, we was able to lay things out nice and neat on now. We can just fold it into a backpack, and uh, the first thing we do is we'll fold it into half, lengthwise, or as we like to say, hot dog style. And then uh, after we have that first fold, then we're gonna take it, and we're gonna fold this side to the capture strap, okay? And once we've got that to the capture strap, this exposes the other capture strap, and we can fold it one more time, and get those bottom corners through the capture strap with all of our grommets, top and bottom, lining up. Okay, so you can see that I've taken uh, these carabiners on the bottom of the Ultimate Game Changer, ran them through the grommets and through the capture strap on both sides. And also we have here our uh, button toggles, these long button toggles at the top in order to capture the shoulder straps on the top. Now one thing you need to do at this point is you need to take your ultimate game changer and flip it over. That exposes the bottom, the back side, and now uh, we even have a waistband to distribute some of the weight from your shoulders to um, your waist, which those of you who backpack, you know how nice that is to get as much of that weight off the shoulders and onto your hips as you can. And so that's gonna be, as you can see, our waistband. Then we're gonna take these shoulder straps and we're gonna attach them with the button toggles at the top. We'll just quickly attach that. And then the carabiner at the bottom. At the carabiner at the bottom, you wanna make an X with this. And uh, you'll see why when we, when we load it up with uh, the game meat, because uh, we'll, We'll have it in an X, we'll undo the X, and it will create the backpack um, with, the, with the shoulder straps tighter at the neck than at the waist. The Ultimate Game Changer is a patented invention. It's not even patent pending any longer. This is a, a true patent held at the Patent Office of the United States of America. This is a very unique um, product. The patent lawyer that helped me with it said that uh, there's nothing out there like this. And so it was a very easy patent to obtain. And so there we are, we're ready to go. And uh, we've got the shoulder straps attached, the waist band attached and ready to go. And uh, what happens is when you fold this tarp this way, and this is part of the patentable part of it, is the actual design of the folding of the tarp and the locations of the grommets. You actually create three pockets for um, whatever it is you're hauling out, okay? Just like we said, when you want to go in lightweight and compact and come out loaded to the max, you've got three pockets here that you can utilize. Each of these pockets, you can identify the pocket by the slick side. So this is a pocket. This right here is not a pocket. It goes all the way through. But this is a pocket. The next one goes all the way through. 
And then the last one is a pocket. So you have three pockets here that you can put things in. For us, we're gonna put in the first pocket closest to the back, the two hind quarters. The next pocket, we're gonna put the front shoulders. And in the last pocket, the farthest one out, we're gonna put the back straps and tenderloins. And you're gonna see us take out a full nice buck deer, one man, one trip. Going in light and compact and coming out loaded to the max. Okay. So now we have this ultimate game changer loaded up with an entire deer. Two hind quarters, which by the way, we left the rope on. That was kind of nice to be able to hang it in the tree. And uh, when we get back to the house, we're ready to go. I mean, we don't have to, to gut it or skin it or anything. We're just, we can just hang it in uh, the uh, freezer and it's ready for butchering. So uh, we've left the ropes on these and I can maybe even utilize these ropes to kind of hold the antlers in place. Okay, well, we've got the two hind quarters in the first pocket. In the second pocket, we've got the two front shoulders that you can see here. And then in the very back pocket, we have the tenderloins, back straps, and even a place here where we can put the antlers for packing out. Now, as I said before, notice that we have the shoulder straps crossed. And we've got right here, we've got the, the waistband ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just take this, undo that X, that creates the, the tight part for the shoulders. We can double check our load, make sure that our antlers are tied in there and tied off, and uh, we're ready to go. We're ready to get out of here. We can go in deep and steep and lightweight and come out uh, with the monster buck that you want. Okay, so this is Willard. He's taking out this beautiful buck and uh, heading out of the mountains. That's a full deer.